This is a book review of the epic collection The Incredible Hulk, Volume 3, The Leader Lives. Well, it does right at the back. <laughs> Doesn't uh, This is the weird thing with the titles. I often include these. Didn't appear for most of the book. However, Volume 3 covers a period 1967 to 1969 and includes Tales to Astonish, the end bit of that, 97 to 101, Incredible Hulk, 102 to 117, also the annual, and a not brand egg. 460 pages. 50-50. I think there's some really good material in here and there's some pretty average stories. There's some bonus material at the back, so you've got the usual good old original art pages, some unpublished covers, which are actually really quite good to compare the two. And I'm just going to quickly run through this. So the book predominantly obviously is colour and this, this book came out in 2018. You've got the Legion of Living Lightning. Space Parasite. Some of those characters were really. However, you've got some really good stories here, like Submariner. Submariner versus the Hulk. Of course, Submariner shared tales to astonish with the Hulk. So you've got this real dramatic story just at the point where the comic is finishing. Of course, you then you got into a nice story with the Immortals of Asgard. You've got Enchantress, Executioner, Odin, etc. And that's a pretty decent story. Really like this. And then you go to another just space parasite story at uh, the Rhino. Well, the Rhino is always a good character in Spider Man, but he's a bit underpowered and really no chance against the Hulk. Another sort of android or whatever it is. I must admit, they, there was a, quite a run of these stories that frankly I had really no time for. I will get blah blah blah, puny pink ones, etc. or something. Really? Who writes that dialogue? However, the Mandarin. Mandarin is quite good in Iron Man. This story was a bit passable and you've got this weird yellow creature that, why does it always, these villains always have to introduce, look, here's this massive monster. Like this, this works every time. Happens all the time. Leader does it, always my massive super android. No, the Hulk, you cannot beat him. Then what happens? Of course. Anyway, Monster Triumphant. It's not sort of giving the story away a bit there, isn't it? Monster Triumphant. That depends which monster we're talking about. We're on to the Maximus story. Got the best cover of all time. One of the classics. I mean, that is one of the best Hulks ever. Even though it doesn't feature the Inhumans, but battles the Inhumans. Crushing down on that. A refuge divided. I'm not a keen fan of Maximus, so the stories. Black Bolt, of course, all the usual are in it, but uh, you've generally got the evil in humans. I'm not really certain what their names even are. Got Faulkner, etc. And Maximus doing his best to be completely pointless as ever. I've never, ever understood Maximus' character. Kazar. I love Kazar. So these Kazar, hopefully one day there'll be an epic collection of Kazar. So I would love to see that. Brilliant artwork from Herb Trimp, as ever. We love these stories. So you've got Kazar. Then you've got a really good one with the Galaxy Master. That's a real galactic level Hulk story. And I really enjoyed the Galactic Master. Obviously, he's this vast creature, which of course the Hulk has to battle. To be honest, the Hulk really shouldn't have had much of a chance. However, there's obviously the next story. So we've got the Sandman. And I like the Sandman. Sandman is always one of those characters that he's been Obviously, with the Frightful Four, obviously battled the Spider-Man, battled Fantastic Four, and now, of course, against the Hulk. He also joins forces with the Mandarin as well, which is... So what you've got here, the leader, finally. Now, this is page 400 of a 460-page book, and the leader kicks in at the end. So you've got the leader. And guess what? He's got an android, a massive, super-sized android that is completely unstoppable, completely... However... Of course, world's end. But I, I genuinely, I like the leader story. It's a good story, and that is the end of the book. But as I say, 50 50, I think. There were some real duff stories during this period, and there were some good stories as well. So, this is like, say, vol volume three. I think volume four was a lot better. Volume two was a lot better for me, anyway. Volume one as well. But it still ends with a parody of the Submariner story. So you've got a, I love the not brand X. Not brand X good. And then you've got some lovely uh, 
illustrations at the back, the original artwork, etc. This monster unleashed original art. And they're good as well. Love the bonus material. So there's the back cover there. You've got the Sandman putting the hold on the Hulk. Now, really, Sandman, really, in many ways, should be able to beat virtually anyone. I mean, he has the power of sound, he can do anything. Form himself. However, he is always a bit, I always feel, if he, like, maybe he should have read a few Plastic Man comics. Imagine he could near enough be like the Plastic Man, the old quality comics ones. And anyway, there it is on the back. So, Incredible Hulk, a mixed bag, personally. Still part of the collection, obviously, Epic Collection. So you've got volume one, two, three, etc. So, and there's, I think there's a volume coming out shortly. I can't remember. Can't just, there's so many epic collections I've, I've pre-ordered, so I don't know anymore. So there is The Leader Lives.